Hola and welcome back cruisers with our daily cruise news updates, all news fed directly to you from cruisehive.com. Royal Caribbean International has reached out to guests booked aboard the October 22nd sailing of Explorer of the Seas to notify them of a two hour change in the ship's departure from Venice in Italy. Now the significant change in time means that guests may need to alter their arrival plans to ensure they reach the ship in time for sail away. Other than to maintain a safe and comfortable speed, there is no explanation given to why Explorer of the Seas will be leaving port two hours earlier than planned. At this time, no other cruise departure times have been changed, but guests booked to sail from Venice in the coming weeks will want to stay in close contact with the cruise line to be alerted to any schedule adjustments. It's a case of Godfather Part 2 now, as Norwegian Cruise Line is gearing up for its second prima class vessel, Norwegian Viva, and have announced Latin superstar Louis Fonzi as Godfather, who will christen the ship in November 2023. The Grammy-winning artist will be at the centre of all the attention for the new ship's naming ceremony, which will take place at one of the busiest cruise ports in the world, Port Miami. In Florida. It will include Fonzie initiating the process with a traditional champagne breaking against the ship's bow to christen Norwegian Viva officially. The event will also feature performances by Paulina Rubio, Pedro Capo, and Marcella Hernandez. So, what do you say, cruisers? Do you think Louis Fonzie is a good choice as Godfather? Please let us know in the comments below. Transport Canada announced on June the 23rd that all cruise ships operating in Canadian waters are now required to follow strict environmental regulations. The regulations primarily target the management of grey water, which is the drainage from sinks, laundry machines, showers and dishwashers, as well as sewage and the wastewater from bathrooms. Initially introduced on a voluntary basis last year, Due to the increased emphasis on environmental preservations, non-compliance with these rules will now lead to fines up to a maximum of $250,000. Many of the industry's newer ships are already equipped with waste treatment plants that exceed current regulations, making the new measures easily adoptable. Royal Caribbean has informed guests of the cancellation of a September 2024 cruise on board Explorer of the Seas. The cruise line will instead be hosting a charter on board the ship during that time. Guests who had planned their vacations around the cancelled cruise received a letter from the cruise line expressing its regret for the cancellation and acknowledging the inconvenience caused and is offering guests a range of alternative cruises in return, including rebooking on a seven-night itinerary in 2024, departing from Ravenna in Italy on board Explorer of the Seas. And finishing off our news today, an early morning accident at Port Miami on Sunday closed the popular home port to all cruise and cargo traffic as it created a major impact to multiple cruise ships that were waiting outside the channel for clearance to enter the port for docking. As a result of the delays, Norwegian Escape, MSC Seascape and Carnival Celebration were all impacted by the incident and were on hold for debarkation and embarkation for the next sailings. A 30-foot boat collided with a Fisher Island ferry. One person was transported to a local hospital in serious condition, and another person unfortunately was found deceased in the water at the accident scene. That's it for the news today, cruisers. Thank you very much for watching the video. My name is Paul, and please make sure you like and you share our news channel if you wish to be kept updated with all the news in the world of cruising. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check out our website on cruisehive.com.